Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how to use Office 365's OneDrive to create folders that you can share with your students. Now this is a great alternative to Edmodo folders right now uh, because those don't seem to be working in Safari. Now I'm going to start in Office 365 at the portal. Um, that address is portal.office.com. Remember also that you can log in at login dot Microsoft Online dot com. I logged in and I get this nice dashboard of all of the apps. We'll be focusing on OneDrive. Now this dashboard once we go to OneDrive will actually be nested up here in the top left uh, in this tile icon. You can click there to switch between any of the other apps uh, that you might need later on. For now we're going to switch over to OneDrive to show you how to create folders and files in the cloud. OneDrive has recently gone through a facelift. Now this facelift has uh, some benefits. Uh, one being that through Safari now I can upload and drag files on top of the folder that I want to upload and I'm going to demonstrate that here in just a second. But for our purposes today we want to create a folder and we're going to start by doing that under the new command and then clicking on folder. We can then give that folder a name. So I want to give uh, this folder the name World Geography. Once that folder is created I should see it in my list down here. One thing to note is that this column on the far right indicates who already has access to that folder. Because we're using OneDrive, OneDrive by default will only ever show new files to you. Now because we want to send these files to a class, we need to select that folder using the checkbox next to the folder, and then we go back up to the top most menu bar which is now changed to allow me to share the folder. We have some options here, and these options are worth some quick discussion. Under this menu to the right, that indicates whether or not the people I'm sharing with can edit or view the folder. For the sake of just distributing resources, you are going to want to choose View. Giving people edit permission also gives them the ability to delete folders or the items within that folder. So for the sake of actually uh, distributing contents, we're going to select View, and I'm going to select a sample uh, teacher. These two options here at the bottom uh, give me the control to share everything within that folder and also send an email invitation. Now this email invitation will give students a link or the person on the other end a link that they can click on. When I click share the person on the other end of that share will receive an email. I too will receive a carbon copy of that email in my Outlook uh, email through 365. You'll notice that I've now changed the share permissions over to the right. For those of you who are sharing with an entire class, note that this will show as uh, shared with many people or many users some uh, degree of that. There you see that email notification that I just mentioned that I'm going to ignore for now. Once I'm ready to add content, I have a couple of options. I can open up this folder, and you'll notice along the top that I can now see that I'm within my OneDrive files, and particularly in the CP World Geography folder, to which I can now upload files two different ways. First, I can select the Upload command, and then decide what I want from my desktop. Once I choose that item, I get a progress bar. This file was small enough that that progress is lightning fast. The other alternative is to batch upload files by dragging and dropping them. Now I'm going to demonstrate this from my desktop. I have two screenshots that I want to send a copy of. I'm going to highlight a box around those two screenshots, drag them from my desktop, and drop them into that gray box. I get a notification up at the top that two uploads uh, were pending and now they're completed 
And now these three files are shared with whoever I shared uh, that CP World Geography. Notice over on the right hand side here, I have that indicated as to whether or not they're shared. I can click that uh, column to see at any time who has access to those files. The last concern you might have is how do I package an entire unit's worth of files and send those to students as one quick download so they don't have to be clicking around uh, to all these different files. The quickest way to do that is to actually create um, a compressed zip file that you drag into your folder in OneDrive. So if you were to follow the same steps and you wanted to send an entire unit, what some teachers have done is uh, they've created their unit folder, say for uh, this class for chapter four, and they right click on that and then they use this command in um, on, on Finder called compress. That compress takes all the files within there, puts them in one zip, and so then when I drag this over into my uh, shared folder in OneDrive, that file is going to take a little bit longer to upload. However, when students are ready to download it, all they have to do is click on download on that one file, and that one file will contain everything that you put in that original folder. So fewer clicks to download multiple items, um, and that zip really helps teachers get big batches of files for an entire unit or chapter uh, down to students in just one download. Now, there are actually two ways for students to go back and find the folder that you sent to them. The first is to use their email notification that they received that you also get a CC'd copy of. And what they'll do is click on that CP World Geography link, which will open a tab that they can easily bookmark and go back to uh, to download those resources. The second option is for them to navigate to that folder by using the Shared With Me link under their OneDrive. So let me show you some things that have been shared with me that are owned by other people or set up by other people. This first example is from Ms. Myers. Uh, she and I have been talking about possible uh, renovations or improvements uh, that could be made to uh, the, the Media Center. And she has set up this uh, OneNote notebook that is shared with me but is actually owned by her, and you can see that it was last changed by her. Now, from this shared with me uh, list, any folders that are in here, and I don't have any uh, on that top screen, but as I scroll down, you can see that I've got some uh, Spartanburg um, pictures that were shared with me via Ms. Myers. Uh, those folders are represented by that blue folder icon, and that is how students will see folders shared by you um, with them. So the other uh, thing to know about this is once students go in and actually look at uh, the files that are within, how do they download them? How do they get a copy of those? Well, there are a couple options when they're viewing a folder. The first is to select the check mark and click the download button from uh, that uh, file. Sometimes you might see that uh, option under an ellipsis, and I'm going to go back and give you um, an example of that uh, by going back to my original CP um, World Geography folder. And here's what that looks like with the ellipsis. This check mark uh, doesn't always show the download button up at the top, depends on certain files, and especially if you're going to select more than one, it disappears. Now, if I wanted to download this file, I can also click on the ellipsis right next to that file and then click download, and it'll throw that into my downloads file right now. So, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my website, or7ignites.com, for uh, more tech tips and advice.